The greatest ally you can ever depend on is the Holy Ghost. There was a time in my life that I was just so confused on what to do because I was going through a lot and it looked like life was not fair to me. The battles were too much for me to handle by myself. I later discovered that life is spiritual. I engaged my enemies in prayers by calling on the name of the Lord and I just watched him few months after that silence all my mockers and open doors of opportunities to me. The word of God says in Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 3 that you should call upon God in the day of trouble and he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you don't know. All your enemies are scared of the name of the Lord when you use it against them. I decree over you that all the mockers around you are silenced in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the host of heaven will arise for you and scatter all enemies that have risen against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the enemies will never trump over you in all ramifications. You are welcome to this channel. If today is your first time here, I am adopting you into my prayer circle and I will be praying for you and your family daily. All you have to do is to stay connected by hitting the subscribe button in red letter and hitting the notification bell so that YouTube reminds you when I drop any of the prayers God places in my heart for you. Please personalize these prayers for yourself and pray with a strong conviction that God will answer all your prayers. I decree that all the enemies that have vowed not to eat and drink until they see my downfall are disappointed. In the name of Jesus, I command all the forces of darkness gathered to harm me will be utterly put into confusion. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that God will plead my cause for them that strive with me and he will fight against them that fight against me. I decree that all my enemies will have God to contend with as they devise my hurt and downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I command the fire of God to fall on the head of the enemies who have resolved in their hearts to not make me see peace. I bind all the powers and forces of darkness that are sending forth their evil projections against me and all members of my family. I decree that there is total restoration for me. I declare that I recover all that the enemies have stolen from me. In the name of Jesus, I decree that I take the battle to the camp of my enemies and I trounce over them whether they like it or not. Your word says, Lord, in Romans 8, 37, that I am more than a conqueror through you who first loved me. I decree, I declare that I conquer all the war that the enemies are waging against me. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I draw a bloodline round about myself and all members of my family. I decree that I put on all the armor of God and I would stand all the wiles of the enemies. Your word, Lord, in Romans 10, 13 says that anyone that calls upon your name shall be saved. I call on you to come and fight against all my enemies because my strength will fail me if I depend on my share strength. Puny am I without you, Lord. Stand up for my help, Lord. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for me and I will hold my peace. I engage the help of God this instant because God is my greatest ally and he begins to fight all my enemies around me and my family.
I decree and declare that I would never know defeat all the days of my life and I would never be deficient of God's help in Jesus name. I put my angel to work this instant and I pray that they begin to fight all the forces of darkness gathered against me in the name of Jesus. I put an end to the operation of darkness against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I destroy all the devices of darkness targeted at me destroying me and making me useless in Jesus name by the power in the name of Jesus I walk on the head of my enemies who are on the path of my greatness begin to thank God for answering all your prayers in Jesus name we have prayed I know that your prayers today are answered whether the devil likes it or not Please keep your prayer altar burning and don't forget to always pray because men ought to pray always and not faint. God bless you and keep you. The very first thing I want you to know is that God is for you and no one can be against you. You are beyond being contended with by anyone. The powers of darkness dare not contend with you because you carry the mark of Christ. If God is for you, who possibly can stand against you? Even if the world is against you, God cannot be against you because you are his prized possession. Know this and have assurance and confidence. The Bible urges us in Luke 10, 19 to take authority in his name and trample against all powers of darkness that are contending with us. The Bible also says in Psalm 35, 1b, that God will fight against those that fight against you. The decision now lies with you. Do you want the Lord to fight against those that contend with you? Or do you want the Lord to pardon them? Now is the time to believe in these prayers I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray for you that the enemies who want to cause your downfall will be dumbfounded in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemies will fall into the pits they have dug for you. I pray that the Lord would take hold of his shield and buckler and stand up for your help in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the enemies who have devised your hurt will be confounded. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord chases those that are in constant contention with you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that God will go before you to fight for you against all your enemies to give you victory. I pray that throughout this year, God will fight all your enemies and will always make you victorious. I pray for you that you will not be against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards to bring you shame are destroyed. I pray for you that all your enemies will begin to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you are untouchable for the enemies. The Lord will keep on showing up for you against your enemies. The word of the Lord will always be your weapon of defense and all offense against the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the enemies will never frustrate God's promises for you. You hide under the tabernacle of the highest. You find safety and solace in his name, in the name of Jesus. The love of God makes you perfect and secure. I decree that all your days will be filled with glad tidings. You will always sing songs of victory and joy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the resurrection power of God is at work in you much more. Therefore, all that the enemies have stolen from you will be restored to you in sevenfold. I decree that the name of the Lord would exempt you from the tragedies the enemies orchestrate daily. 
Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for you because curse is anyone that hangs on the tree. I pray for you that all generational curses that are alive in your lineage will never work against you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you're engulfed in the love grace and mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus and I decree that the ways of the wicked ones are slippery and their labor will be in futility against you I decree that your faith in Jesus always coming to help you will never fizzle out in the name of Jesus the veil has been turned therefore I decree that you access the presence of God with confidence and no power of darkness will stand against you I decree that as you journey in life all obstacles on your path of fulfilling God-given purpose will become stepping stones for you to walk on which will ease your journey to fulfill your purpose you are above the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, the good thoughts the Lord has for you will never be contended against by the wicked ones. I thank you, Lord, for answering every one of our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As believers, we are not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil. When the devil attacks you, the Spirit of the Lord in you will raise a standard against him. You can always be sensitive to the devil's plot because you are led by the Holy Spirit. No divination against you can stand because you are a seed of Abraham. It has been clarified specifically in the Bible in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you shall condemn. The ball now lies in your court to stand your God against the devices of the wicked ones. As I will be making these prayers and declarations over your life, receive them in faith as it is only by faith you will overcome the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the attacks of the evil ones at you will be nullified. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the association of the wicked ones to cause your downfall will be scattered in the name of Jesus. And I decree over you that you will not be caught unaware by the enemy's attack. By the power in the blood, I decree that the blood of Jesus shields you from the wicked ones' attacks. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you abide under the secret place of the highest and you hide under his mighty wings. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not be a tool of the enemies against your loved ones. I decree over you that the enemy's attacks against your finance will fall to the ground. I decree that the mark of Jesus is upon your forehead and he, this exempts you from the attacks of the devil and his cohorts. The word of God says in Luke 10, 19, that you have been given the authority to trample the upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I decree that you work in the authority that Jesus has given to you to trample upon all the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never be a casualty of accidents and strange pandemic. The, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of your possessions. I decree that you, they will never be stolen by the enemies. The word of the Lord says in Ephesians 6, 11, that you should put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I decree over you that you put on the whole armor of God and you are given the ability to stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The word of God would always be your weapon of offense in the name of Jesus. You are shielded from the prying eyes of the powers of darkness. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are always victorious against all the enemies gathered around you. 
in the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord will encamp around you and fight against all the wicked ones plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are never confused as touching what to do when the evil ones rise against you. I decree that the joy of the Lord would always be your strength anytime it looks like you are down. By the reason of the anointing of the Lord upon you, I pray for you that the anointing in you will destroy all the yokes of the evil ones upon your shoulders. In the name of Jesus, I decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for God is with you. I decree that the Lord would arise on your behalf and scatter all the enemies plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the hedge the Lord has built around you will never be taken down. I pray for you that you will not unconsciously reveal your next move to the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not fall into the traps of the enemies. I decree that the enemies will fall into the pit they have dug for you and all the members of your family. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The tongue is the smallest member of the body, yet it is still the most powerful. The Bible said in Proverbs 18, 21, that life and death are in the power of the tongue. That is the foremost reason you must be watchful at how you speak negative words to yourself. And you must not permit anyone to speak negative words to you. In the spirit realm, there is nothing like I said so and so by mistake. Angels and demons are activated by the words of the mouth. You are to take authority in the name of Jesus by nullifying negative words you might have said to yourself and the ones the evil ones pronounced against you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. Now is the time to use that authority you have in the name of Jesus by joining your faith with mine to nullify all negative words the enemies have said to you that are producing negative results in your life. I decree over you that all the negative words that you might have made unknowingly to yourself are nullified in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the enchantment of the evil ones made against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all curses that are working contrary to God's will for your life are nullified. I also decree that all negative words said to you that are making you not walk in your God-ordained destiny are cancelled. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the wrong words people have said to you that have lowered your self-esteem in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never lose your position by the wrong counsel of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, you will never leave the will of God for your life due to wrong counsel from people who do not mean well for you. The Bible says in Psalm 140 verse 8, The Lord will not grant the desires of the wicked, and he will not promote their evil devices, so that they will not be exalted. I decree over you that all the evil words the wicked ones have spoken against you will not stand, because the Lord will not permit it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be made useless in life by the enemy's evil pronouncements against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the negative words people have said to you in the past that have kept you in a circle are annulled. In the name of Jesus, walk in the will of God for your life. I decree that only God's counsel for you will stand. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not enter wrong agreements with people unknowingly through the words of your mouth.
by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you would never become an object of ridicule to the enemies. I pray for you that divination and incantation made against you should not stand because you are a seed of Abraham. In the name of Jesus, I pray that anyone given wrong advice to your destiny helpers is rendered foolish. The word of God says in Michael 2, 1, Woe to him who scheme iniquity and work out evil on their beds. When morning comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. I decree that all the evil counsels of the evil ones made against you and your family is put to null and void in the name of Jesus. Just like the evil pronouncements made by Haman to the children of Israel backfired on him, I decree that all the evil pronouncements made by the evil ones will backfire on them and their negative pronouncements will work in your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be paralyzed by the negative pronouncements of the powers of darkness against you. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the negative words people have said to you in the past that is impeding your progress in life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for you that the Holy Spirit helps you to tame your tongue. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not expose yourself to the wicked ones via your words. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life. The devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond. His ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest. You're exempted from this. You can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct and comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his minions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time. I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven. I decree over you that you will walk in God's timing for you and the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his timing is an order in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not miss the map God has set for you due to your selfish ambition. I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies who want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus.
The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with. That will help you not to be distracted. I pray for you that the word of God will always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all Ahitophel like friends in your life leave you this instant. By the power in the name of Jesus I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going are condemned in the name of Jesus I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not you will fulfill your God-given destiny I decree that the calling and the the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Holy Spirit will always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before. I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The anointing that is upon and within you is a compelling force that attracts wonderful things to you. God anoints a man for exploits and greatness. Without the anointing upon you, you might struggle in some areas of your life. Desire the anointing for greatness today and it will come upon you. The Bible says in Mark 11:24 that whatsoever you ask the Father in his name, he will give you. Now is the time to ask God to anoint you with the oil of gladness that will set you apart for greatness and make you stand out among your contemporaries. I pray for you that the Holy Ghost, who is the seal of your promise, even to the day of redemption, will help you to abide in the anointing that is within you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are anointed for exploits and greatness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are set apart from people of mediocrity who will limit your success. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are fighting against the anointing that you have scattered. I decree that the anointing will break all the yokes of setbacks in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will do exploits like our Lord Jesus because you have been anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be set apart for excellence. I decree that you mount upon eagles' wings and you soar above all well, limitations and blockades. I decree that you begin to succeed today in all facets of your life. That streak of failure has ended in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the anointing of the Lord will drive you to do extraordinary things for the kingdom. I decree that you will be able to utilize time well. You will make use of the opportunities well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are anointed for great things which are far more than your imagination. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, you will no longer be behind your contemporaries. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will rescue you from those that are contending with you. I decree that you will achieve greatness and not an ordinary kind of greatness. You will achieve greatness on a global scale in the name of Jesus. I decree the nations are inside of you. I pray for you that you will not disappoint your generation and generations to come.
the anointing of God within you will help you to be focused on your purpose and your vision. I decree that you will walk circumspectly for the days are evil. I decree that you will not be distracted by evil friends who are positioned to make you not to make use of your time well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the altar of your greatness will never be demolished with your hands and by wicked ones. You are the light of the world and a city set on a hill. I decree that your greatness will begin to manifest for the world to see. In the name of Jesus, you will not be hindered from being successful in anything you set your hands to do. I pray for you that the anointing that is upon you will single you out for favor, success and breakthrough. I decree that people are attracted to you and kings will minister to you by the anointing that is in you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would never be a failure. You are a global success. There is room for you at the top. I decree that you will get to the apex of your career, ministry, and purpose in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will exempt you from being used as a pawn by the evil ones against your progress in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God for answers to our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please endeavor to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section. God bless you. Amen.